Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another glorious episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. This session is going to be, I think it's going to be a good one, folks. I think we're finally going to fix our train problems. I'm actually going to do that with a quick edit, but I wanted to just quickly show you guys uh, the before and after, basically. So we're going to go over that really quickly at, right at the start, and uh, then we're going to focus on completing our uh, fabric factory at Train Rexky over here. It's almost done. Well, I say it's almost done. There's still quite a bit of time and resources left to devote to this construction, but hopefully it'll be done soon. And once that fabric factory is done again I've been on about this for a little while but we'll be able to cut off the uh, import costs of fabric and uh, hopefully that'll help our economy significantly we did end up we did end the previous session at a higher number than the uh, beginning of that previous session so let's try and do that again today uh, but yes yeah, slowly but surely we should be looking at uh, our economy sort of re-emerging uh, becoming successful once more and apart from that we should also be able to get some more coal or processing plants now some of you were suggesting in the comments of having two or three coal or processing plants probably not a bad idea to do that we'll get those set up in the same area I do believe this one coal mine is able to yes produce a lot of coal we just have to keep people coming and that's exactly what we've been doing people have been coming now uh, at a greater pace uh, and that's been helping our coal or storage it's just that the processing is not happening quickly enough so uh, we're going to have to build some more uh, processing plants and then we'll have to figure out how to divvy up the actual uh, coal itself I believe in fact actually if I take a look at this area over here we are able to uh, store I think coal somewhere uh, because if we're able to store it somewhere, we should be able to uh, use that as a distribution station instead. Uh, so over here, for example, yes, the small aggregate storage can hold on to a bunch of uh, a bunch of coal at one spot, and from there distribute it out to uh, to another, and from there it'll sort of spread out. The the thing is that I want to attach uh, all the coal supply to one of these and then have it distribute across the entire uh, network so to speak so uh we'll, we'll have to we'll have to work on that try to figure out how to get that going um mm, that's gonna be interesting uh that's, that's gonna be an interesting uh, one to deal with because we could maybe i should deal with this later uh but i am just quickly quickly assessing the situation here because we've got three or four inputs, but only two outputs. We'll have to demolish this. We'll have to rearrange this situation a little bit. And I'm fine with that. Uh, that's not a problem. We just have to uh, we just have to figure it out is all. Because I do want to make sure that all of the coal is getting everywhere it needs to get to. Uh, rather than having to... Basically, I'd like the, the, the conveyor belt system to take over after the coal is processed, rather than have to distribute which coal or processing plant delivers coal to which segment of the network. Anyway, that's a problem to deal with later. Uh, we have to uh, deal with our real network problem first, so I'm going to do that. I just want to point out what, what the fixes are that we're going to make, then I'm going to do it and we'll cut back in so we're not watching me you know, fiddle around with train tracks and whatnot. Hopefully it all works out. I've seen all your suggestions in the comments. I think I understand what you guys are going for. Uh, some of the changes I'll definitely be making. Some of the changes uh, I don't necessarily like how they look visually, so I'll try and find some workarounds for those. But basically, well, first of all, we can compare completely get rid of this train platform. It has two buses that drop people off at this train platform, but as you'll see, uh, this bus platform is actually able to service the same area. So the train platform gets all of these buildings, great. The uh, bus platform does as well. So we don't really have to worry about, uh, well, like we don't have to worry about the gas station, for example, or the uh, the electric substation. So we'll uh, what we'll do is we'll demolish this train platform, and we'll be able to get rid of some of these tracks, these wasteful tracks. We're also going to get rid of this loop over here. I don't think that loop serves any purpose. Uh, I I don't know if it ever did. And what we're going to do instead is have an input into this station over here into this warehouse uh, from this track over here so that trains will come here they'll turn around they'll head down and uh, hopefully they won't go up and out over to the farms uh, they'll just turn around on the spot and uh, make their way to this warehouse so we're going to reorganize that reorganize what some of the trains are doing as well uh, and while that's happening over here we're also going to fiddle around with this setup a little bit just to try and reduce the blockages that keep on propping up over here but like I said gonna do that 
with a little bit of an edit, no need to watch me actually, you know, sit down and, and fiddle with all the uh, the tracks and stuff. Hopefully it all works out, so uh, bear with me, I suppose, uh, I say to myself, because you guys, for you guys, time will, uh, will be gone in an instant. Okay, so we're back, and uh, that took a little bit longer than expected, so I'm definitely glad I edited it out. Uh, let's take a look at this situation first. So we've gone ahead and demolished this train station as uh, as planned. Uh, we've changed up the track over here as well. Uh, rather than have the crossings happening over here like they were before, I've put the crossing over here and allowed trains to arrive up to... Uh, well, let's go ahead and get the semaphores up. Uh, I've allowed them to arrive up to here as a one-way, and uh, then we sort of become a two-way in this area. What I'm hoping that allows is uh, any train coming through will be able to switch over to either side at this crossing. So actually what that means is uh, these can be one way. Sorry, well, no, no, not you. That was a misclick. Uh, you can be a one way. Talking things through sometimes helps uh, clarify things. Uh, so this should be able to go as a one way on to this side. And then this should be a one way onto that side. So when trains come through, they're able to get all the way to here, and then they pick a side depending on what's free, and they go ahead and sit into that station, and uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then on the way out, they can switch over to the output side, and then stick to the right side all the way over to wherever they need to go. While down here, again, we have kind of a similar situation. I didn't really mess with this because this seems to be working out just fine. Uh, meanwhile, over here, as you can see, we got rid of that loop, and instead we have uh, this path over here, Basically, traffic only ever flows from this station to this station. Now, I am tempted to, uh, of the two trains that we have that deliver clothes and, uh, uh, you know, food and, and, and alcohol and whatnot, uh, of those two trains, I am tempted to say that only one train delivers clothes and the other train doesn't deliver clothes at all. And that way, what I could do is uh, I could actually have a stopping point over here, but that seems like a wasted train. So I'm going to experiment with this first, where trains go over here, and then this is a one-way only. It's only accessible through this one-way path. So trains on leaving this station should be able to enter the warehouse and then leave. Whereas on the way back, there is no access to this warehouse. So hopefully that helps clear things up over here. I think, I think this should work. The only issue we might have is congestion as a result of too many trains trying to get to this platform. And if that continues, then we're going to have to say that one of the trains doesn't actually deliver... Um, food, alcohol, and bread, or, uh, what was it, crops, uh, and instead stops over here. And I think that's that's just a congestion situation. Unfortunately, we don't have three-track uh, platforms. It'd actually be a really cool feature if the game allows you to customize platforms depending on what kind of, uh, you know, load they need to handle. Anyway, so that's this situation over here. The two buses that were going to this platform are now instead going to this platform. And again, this platform has all the reach it needs, so we'll be fine there. Meanwhile... Uh, over here, it's a little bit funkier, and I'm still not feeling super confident about this. I think I understood the comments correctly. I could be way off. Uh, hopefully, I'm ho hopefully I'm not. But um, the, uh, the, the 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 plan, the hope is that trains will, on the way in or out, have to go through a single track. So if if there is no output on the other side then they will sit tight on the entry points. God, I, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's actually, hold on a second. So I've got the, the two ways over here so people can get into this either way. And on the way out, they end up on one track. And then if they're going that way, they stick to the right. And this is only if they're coming in. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little worried about, uh, about this whole setup. I'm not sure if I've got this right. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and hit play though and see if things actually work out. Um, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. But uh, this uh, again, if I if you guys have a more direct suggestion, I'll like here. Throw, I'll throw this up, and you guys can let me know whether the issue is at one or two or at three. I don't. This is not an issue. This is all isolated. It's not a problem. It's this section and this section. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the problem. Uh, I'm sure I could come to... I feel like this in theory works, but you know what? Let's test it out in practice, right? That's where things tend to fall apart, I say, in charge of this uh, Soviet Republic. Uh, hopefully everything here will be working smoothly, though, and uh, time is now progressing onwards. We have 
Oh, actually, we're making money, so that's that's not bad. I wish I'd kept track of where we started. Now, these passenger trains shouldn't be having a tough time either. They, they've got their own sort of isolated path. Every once in a while, they'd get stuck over here, but I believe now with this kind of, like, relief path, we shouldn't be having that struggle anymore. Um, yeah, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. And, like, these are the buses that were going to come to that train station. Instead, they're going to this bus stop over here. Uh, letting people out. They're all going to work. No problem. That's all well and good. I don't think I have to worry about that. I also need to consider moving this construction office because it does bother me. Do How much does it cost to build a construction office, actually? Because it's not that bad. Th this whole ramp thing kind of just grinds my gears. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I'd like to fix that because it's a blight. And I can move this construction office over here instead. The problem is that all of these cost a fair bit of money. And I don't believe I can move them. Oh yeah, I can move them all to this depot. Okay. So that is something I could do and clean this mess up. I don't think I'd mind that, actually. I'm going to wait until the roads clear up a little bit, and then I think we'll do that. Over here, the steel mill continues to work close to capacity. We've got a lot of people coming through using a lot of coal over here, so we definitely need to get the... Uh, coal processing plant soon. This bus is arriving just now, just in time. I love when things work smoothly, which is why the trains bother me so much. Okay, how are we doing over here? This train is on its way back. Let's see how you perform. And over here so far, we are okay. All right, good stuff. It's weird actually playing the game at normal speed because of uh, how used to, how I've gotten used to the, the double speed play. I think I actually lost, missed my window there. Let's go ahead and put a construction office down over here. Um, the other thing I could do is just wait until this fabric factory is done, and then we could build a construction office from scratch as well, because honestly, uh, why not, right? We've got all the materials. We've got all the materials. Why waste that kind of money? That's that's the point of being self-sufficient, after all, so why waste that kind of money? Uh, the other thing that was recommended is that I go ahead and build a... Um, rail construction office, which I think I will do before we build our uh, connection to the oil area over here. But uh, that oil will probably not be until... I mean, maybe we'll tap into the oil this session. Um, for now, the focus is still that fabric factory, though. I want to make sure that uh, it's getting the resources it needs. All right, what's the deal here? You are loading up. All right, I got to keep an eye on this. See, because what's going to happen now is a train... Okay, good. I was going to say, this train's going to arrive, and it's going to mess everything up. But I imagine that train would have stopped somewhere over here, seeing that these are all stacked up. So it looks like we've made it into the clearing. I'm going to pull up over there. Yep. And you're going to cross over at this point to get into the station. I do believe we've solved this problem. While you over here are going to load up on some clothes, we've got plenty of clothes. Wow. This should be a pretty decent haul, I think. And that train is going to make its way back to the farms. All right, feeling pretty good so far, folks. Feeling pretty good. Uh, this, I think, will turn green in due time. So, you know, that's all good. Uh, I do need to clean this mess up, actually, a little bit. Sorry, I just hate looking at... Like, not, that, not that that's any better. All right, that was good. You're now carrying over 33k worth of stuff. Yikes. With some left. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, meanwhile, over here, again, this accidental residential uh, tower, so to speak, is being built as well. Need some steel and prefab panels. I do believe we've got a bit of that over here. Okay, fair enough. And down over here. I'm trying to... Well, okay, what's the bottleneck here? Steel brick board. Got concrete, just need steel, bricks, and board. Got all that over here. Go ahead and check the construction sites, see that the vehicles are actually getting the work done. I might need more uh, more construction sites. There's seriously no assigned vehicles here? This construction office. What are you doing? Get you working here as well, come on. Someone's got to carry the steel bricks and boards. We've got a lot of workers here doing a whole lot of nothing, which is really unfortunate. It's a lot of wasted time. At least everything else is pretty much topped up. Well, I guess the food's being loaded directly onto this. Yeah, fair enough. So far, no trouble over here, which is good. What about up over here? So far, we're okay up over here as well. And how is this steel train doing? Quite well. Oh my god, I love seeing, uh, <laughs> I love seeing it get loaded up because it just makes us so much money. It makes us so much money. 
and I, I could what I the other thing I could do is I could start planning our uh, coal ore processing plant just so we're not wasting time um, quote unquote wasting time as uh, this is just sitting there at least we've got some vehicles coming through yeah that's what happened the wrong construction office the one without the uh, appropriate vehicles is what uh, was assigned and the other one wasn't assigned or get got unassigned I guess because to get to here we needed resources as well Either way, it's, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We've got a pretty consistent flow of workers over here. Everyone that's coming to the to the uh, construction site right now is just lazy. They know that they've got an easy day of work if they come here. No resources, nothing we can do. Ah, uh, it's okay. This, this is all fine. Sorry, just, just wanted to make sure everything's okay. Good stuff as well with the livestock. We're actually getting that to work because passengers are being brought down to here. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. We're actually getting work done down over here as well. Everything is working. Oh, and I was asked in the comments if I plan on getting uh, additional little towns or cities made for our uh, for our oil reserves over here and for our uh, steel, which I believe we've... Or iron, sorry. Which I believe we found down over here. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty dark right now. Um... I could do. I was wondering if I wanted to get some uh, supplementary towns. Because, again, we're we're in charge of a whole nation, not just one city, of a whole nation. So I wonder if I'll build some uh, some satellite cities, try to make them a little self-sustaining as well. Of course, party power will still be the central power plant that controls or that powers everything. But we could have some more housing and some construction offices set up next to these, uh, you know, iron-rich areas. Because uh, rather than transporting people from the end of the world to the other end of the world, it would make more sense. Where would the, the veins go? They were somewhere here, weren't they? thought they were, at least. I know that there is a planned update to the game where uh, resource maps will actually become available, so you can see where resources are available. There we go. Just, just a couple of veins all the way down south over here. We could actually export directly from the mines. It's right next to the border. Uh, so that is an option. Something to think about. But you know what, actually, looking at the distance from here to, to Veterinkagrad and to Party Power, I do believe we might have to build a second city, which is an exciting prospect in and of itself. Uh, we'll have to give it a name and everything. Oh, man, uh, this game is goddamn amazing. I uh, Honestly, <laughs> it's just super cool. The scale of the game is just super cool. All right, that's all working smoothly. This seems to be working smoothly enough. Uh, for now, at least. Alright, as the sun's coming up, I think I'm going to start planning my, uh, my additional, um, my additional coal processing plants. This one bus is able to carry so many people. Definitely the right call. And over here, have the resources arrived? Yeah, they're starting to, at least. There we go, we got some bricks coming through. Yeah, we've got, we got plenty of workers. So once the resources arrive, we don't have to worry about, uh, about the work getting done because yeah this is gonna arrive now money is looking all, all right as well again if we can stem the flow of uh of uh, money lost to fabric sooner rather than later that'd be great we need to get steel here still more more bricks are coming through but we do need to get steel over here i wonder if we send that steel train oh it's on its way plenty of steel and storage wow in one loop because that's the steel train on its way back. In one loop, we're able to prepare almost 50 tons of steel. Maybe even 50. That's not bad. Yes, that's 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 not bad. And that's not even working at cap. Huh. And then, of course, the train comes and drains a lot of it. But at least we're... Uh, we've got that going. Where is anything carrying steel here right now? Bricks. You're going to get steel for us. What about you? You're getting more bricks for us. We do need a lot of bricks. 73 tons still. Holy crap. You are... Wow, on your way to pick some up? Holy crap. We're actually producing... Nah, okay, not, not fast enough to keep ahead of the loading of the train, but producing pretty quickly. Okay, sorry. Let's go ahead and focus on, uh, well, a couple of different things. Uh, for one, this is going okay, but I wonder if... 
Yeah, let's let's focus on planning out this coal situation. We'll we'll let time continue on at one speed while we plan this, so that you know multiple things are happening at once. There's no reason to stop time for every little thing. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we'll do here. So we have uh, this right now is our central node, so to speak, in our conveyor belt system. All the coal comes to here, and from here it gets spread out to the. Uh, loading area for export it gets spread to the uh steel mill for turning into steel obviously and it also gets taken through here yeah sorry through here up to this area to get turned into cement and then you know this whole processing area over there so this is the central node it also sorry coal also goes down here to produce bricks All right so if we're able to replace that central node with, uh, where is it? Not gravel, storage, storage. Not loading, stores, sorry, there we go. Uh, a large store is probably not a bad idea. It's a lot of coal. I don't know if we need that, but if this is gonna be our central point. Okay, see, we can... Where it gets funky. I'd like to be able to fit this. It'd be goofy to uh, do kind of a loop around, but I might need to do that. Like what I could do is I could put this down, say over here, in this general area. Put it down like this, I think. We would get coal coming in Because it's, it, nothing says another processing, like, this processing plant could use this to drop things off into this central hub. And another one could deposit directly into the, uh, into the ECC at the end. The, the input. So that's an option. We've got four outputs. Okay. I mean, this is the ideal spot to put this. Um... We just have to loop back to drop it off over here. Or no, we could just get rid of this one. And yeah, do the uh, do the conveyor belt system like that. Okay, fine. So this is probably where we're going to put down our large aggregate storage. I could do a small storage, but I want to future-proof, right? And a large storage costs double in terms of equipment it needs. Uh, in some cases, it's triple. Oh, okay, interesting. The mechanical components, for example, triples roughly. Okay. Oh, we'll put a large one down because we want a future proof. And we're going to have you leading into that and then a second one. Okay, so let's go ahead and see where our second coal processing plant would sit. Probably, like probably somewhere over here, right? We could do something like, I could split this up and, and pull a little bit further down. I could put something like this down. Like if it's over here, then uh, sure, the mine splits and sends another bit down, and then the output from here has to go all the way down to this area. Go over a bit of a funky road section, but that won't be the end of the world. We do have these tracks coming here. I was wondering if I wanted to use this as an export path or something eventually, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. I could also put this processing plant higher up. I don't want to eat into actual full resources, obviously. I don't want to go too high up. I don't want to go too far down either. don't want to spread pollution down that way. So this feels like the right spot. Uh, so let's go ahead and maybe flatten the train a little bit over here. And uh, prepare to put this down in this area. We'll have the road connection as well. Easy enough. Inputs, outputs, all easy. Or so I say. Until it's actually time to make some of these connections. Yeah, we, we've got this. All right, so that all makes sense. Let's just take a quick check on our fabric factory. Looks like the work is getting done here finally. Now those resources need to be brought in a little bit faster. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Why? All right, let's try and figure this out. So you're trying to get in over here, and you can't. And you're trying to get in over here, and you can't either. Neither of you thought to transfer to the other side, to the other track. Why? Why would that be? Because... 
this only so this becomes a two way at the end over here which is fine that's reasonable it should have turned at this point this is a two way for a little while could have crossed over over here I just couldn't tell that there was a train coming on the other side I suppose fair enough kind of annoying but all right let's go ahead and send you your empty let's send you back to that home train platform let's turn you around this shouldn't be a problem because you'll be able to cross over to the right side or to the correct side i mean come on no oh, there we go okay yeah so it's just that they weren't able to tell that another train was coming which is unfortunate now what i could do what i could do is i could set a bypass over here Right, like, this train on its way back does not need to go through this platform. I could set a little bypass, allowing the train to get on to, well, it'd be this side. Right, so it just ignores this station completely. It wouldn't be the easiest thing to do, yeah, because of all the road crossings. Which is a bit of a bummer. In theory, it makes sense. But in execution, it's just not possible. Even if I cancel the road over here, I doubt we'll be able to... Uh, uh, solve. We're trying to solve multiple problems in one session. What is this? Madness. Oh, come on. It's not too close. You know it's not too close. Come on, game. You know you want this to work. God damn it. That crossing really... I mean, I could move it a little bit further up. That is an option as well. But I could probably... This could probably go up to there instead. We could try right now. Well, now there's people here. I think we could, we, we could try that. Let's go ahead and check real quick over here what the deal is. No blockage, no blockage. We're moving. Steel is being sold right now. We're making lots of money. You're moving through as well. Okay, you're making money for us. You're coming through. Yeah, this seems to have been solved, I think. This was a funny issue, though. And and again, it's just a matter of, the I think, the computer not knowing what to do. Timing, maybe. Spacing, perhaps, on my end. But yes, the easy solution, the quote-unquote easy solution would be to set up a bypass and hope that the computer actually uses it. That's the other thing. Hmm... Yeah, let's try this. We're gonna go ahead and... We're spending some money, but I'm, I'm okay with a little bit of expense over here. Are we able to count? Yeah, there we go. So if we were to send... Some other infrastructures in the way... Kind of hard, isn't it? And it's a difficult... Uh, situation because it's all pretty tightly packed I could maybe raise this a little bit higher but this road connection needs to go down this way if I put down the track first I don't think that's going to make a difference uh, we are not auto building okay let's, 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 let's try this if it works one way and not the other whoops yeah, close Okay. Unfortunate. What if it goes a little bit higher up? Like that, let's say. Just to experiment, just to try it out. Yeah, still too close. Alright, well that was a that was a waste of some money, but not the end of the world. I mean I can't Can I? Nope. I mean like a... Okay, we can do something like... I feel like that's the same... Eh, it's a little bit further up, but I think we're going to have the same problem. Oh, no, there we go. Alright. Perseverance, ladies and gentlemen. Perseverance. <laughs> Perseverance solves all problems. So, okay. What am I thinking? I'm thinking that somewhere up over here, we can split out. In theory, this makes sense to me. 
Right, like, we could somewhere up over here. We split out. Right? We go over the road. Might, might not have worked as well as I thought it did. Out over here. We end up back. Uh, there we go, like so. Oh my god, that's hideous. <clears throat> oh, that's hideous. And and it's a death trap. Now, in theory, would this work? Let's go ahead and get the road built, because I'm not too worried about the road working. So, auto build you. Gotta get that road done. Okay. I mean, I, I could try and make this track neater. What would happen? A train would come. Oh. That's not what I meant. Because auto build was checked and it decided to auto build it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. God damn. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to live with the consequences of our uh, inaction. I say inaction because it would have been fine had I check that box off I suppose so let's see this has to be a chain we're only going one way over here let's go ahead and set this up like so set you up like so so you stop if this is busy this should be able to come through now if this works great but I'll still want to clean this up because this is this is hideous this is ugly as all hell I'll even move this fire station if I'm able to make this a little bit cleaner but I do believe this bypass should work we'll find out in due time Oh, over here, this construction is not going at full speed. I'm guessing it's primarily because we are having trouble keeping the resources flowing. Got some bricks coming. We need a lot more bricks. Holy crap. Well, at least we've got a lot of, a lot of bricks coming. Slow, time-consuming process. Jesus, I, I regret that so much. This is, oh, <laughs> it's not the ugliest thing we have, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. All right, we're doing well so far. Let me just check how June has gone. Not poorly. Last month we made 13k. This month we've made 55 so far. That's not bad at all. We are well above where we started the session as well. That feels pretty good. And I think things are moving pretty smoothly as well. So that also feels pretty good. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think, well... What's the problem here? Are we low on bricks? I guess we could increase our productivity a little bit. Yeah, because we are low on bricks. I was wondering if I wanted to construct the additional construction site at the same time. It doesn't take that many bricks, actually, so we could. Very little overlap in terms of resources that are required. So we could get that going, actually. Let's go ahead and do it. We place it over here, I think is the right spot for it um easy access to this area easy access to this area it allows us to get rid of this weird ramp situation so i think we'll do that as soon as the sun rises once more uh we'll get on that otherwise at least power and stuff is coming through okay nothing else is the problem it's just the rate of coal production uh so so that that's that's all that's all good we can solve that problem no problem all right i am liking this uh, steel production I should have got the steel plant up a lot sooner. We could purchase some more prefabs as well, get this uh, residence completed. Not in really a rush to do that, if I'm completely honest. That's all we need though, prefab panels and some steel, and it'll be done. We'll bring a lot more workers into our, uh, into our fold, so to speak. Fine, let's go ahead and purchase some prefab panels. Um... Over here, I suppose. 77 tons is what that construction needs. So let's go ahead and get 84 tons. Manual purchase, sorry. It's a one-timer. There we go. Cool. So now, you know, if any vehicles come through to pick up the, the resources for that construction site, then it'll get made. Not in a rush. I wanted it done eventually anyway. I guess people will volunteer to get to work on it. Fair enough. Holy crap, this isn't good. We need to get some personal vehicles out as well soon. Not the end of the world. 
Okay, that, I just happened to look at it at the wrong time, I think. Okay, we're flowing smoothly over here. Yep. A lot of workers in this area. Coming through from multiple paths. I wonder if we could actually get another clothing factory. Once the fabric factory is up, if we get an, get another clothing factory going. This construction site is super busy as well. Alternatively, we could completely eliminate this bus route. Like, how far can you reach? Pretty far. You can reach everything except for the, uh, the distillery, unfortunately. Okay. We could adjust this so that the, the buses never have to cross over that way. And hold on a second, where'd you go? That train just turn around and go back? I guess so. Fair enough. What's this? You should be fine. Right, every once in a while, I just gotta do a little health check. Ah, see? This is still a problem. This is still a problem. I'm not surprised. The thing is, there's not enough of a gap over here for me to uh, create a crossing. I wonder... I wonder if I make this a one-track kind of a, a deal. Turn you around right afterwards. Well, I guess this is all one ways now, so you'll get stuck here, won't you? Yeah, I needed to turn it around while I was going through that path, because it's going to get stuck over here. Can't go through. Alright, let's make a round trip. Let's go. I'll sort that out for the next session. You're loading up. Yep. This is all okay over here. Yep. Holy crap. Make a lot of money real soon with that shipment. This is good. Really wouldn't mind some more steel coming here either. I'll bring some boards in finally. Yeah, I could just use another construction office in general. Alright, sun's up, sorry. On that note, let's go ahead and get this construction office put down, I think, over here. Could probably make it a bit more tightly packed, actually. And do we have power? We do, up over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and pause time a little bit. I want to flatten the train. Uh, this. Up we go. Hopefully this doesn't uh, prevent the road connection. infrastructure. God damn. Alright. Let's bring you down. Let's bring you down. We can do... God damn it. It was better earlier. I guess we can pop it down over here. Will you still have connection to the power though? That's the question. Yes. Okay. We could just... Get it to line up perfectly, 90 degrees. I believe that's right. Pop it down over here. Yep. It'll take time. It needs to get built as well. It'll take time. But uh, it'll happen. You actually have what it takes to bring all the materials needed here. I have my doubts. Go ahead and assign you as well. Okay. I'll get done soon enough. I believe we can go ahead and increase the speed. Just gotta keep my eye on this. See, so this train over here, for example, is gonna come back. Where are you gonna stop? Nowhere. Because you can actually make it up to there. Yeah. So why would you stop? Fair. Yeah, this section's fine. It's this section. Again, on the way back, technically, it doesn't need to stop there. Hmm. <laughs> Make a huge, like, bypass just down that line over there. Up here instead. So on the way back, they hang a right. 
mingle with our passenger trains i don't i want to minimize that is the other thing i want to minimize how much uh the passenger trains and the cargo trains overlap so this will get worked on yeah we got vehicles coming through no problem that'll get done looks like work is getting done over here as well because we do have the boards oh actually you know, we've got steel and, and bricks and stuff as well just need some more steel and, and bricks. I, I guess they're not going to just use the resources on the site. They want all the resources present before they even begin. Fair enough. I think it's a little silly. Got, you know, 28 tons of bricks. If you have half the bricks you need, then surely you can start from the bottom up. Not a problem, certainly. Come on, guys. Come on. And up over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. We are in July, so let's just quickly check... Last month ended up being, wow, only plus 8. We were at plus 55. How did we drop to... Oh, at least this year is profitable. Halfway through the year is profitable, that's good. That's crazy, actually, what the hell. Look at that iron, holy crap. That's the thing, you produce it faster. You produce steel faster, you need iron faster. We'll solve this problem soon enough. The coal purchasing needs to stop as well. I need to get on that soon. We'll be able to. We'll be able to. Well, that's the that's the one thing that I'm... What I'm very satisfied about is the fact that most of our uh, expenses, most of our imports, we'll be able to cut off pretty soon. Well, like, again, relatively soon. By 1974, I believe, a lot of our things will be self-sustaining. A big chunk of money coming through. We're actually looking at 1.2 potentially this session. If we get another big steel shipment out, which we have the reserve for, we could get there. We could get close to it. I don't know if it will be 1.2, but we could get close to it. And there we go. This is being built, so that's good. Got bricks and all coming through this way as well. Stuff. Why are you coming here empty handed? Get the hell out of here. Stop wasting our time. There we go. Steel's arriving as well. I guess that was one of my big concerns, was like steel not arriving in, in time. But that worked out. Down over here, trains aren't having any issues anymore, it seems like. It's all a matter of time, really. All a matter of time. I don't know, I need more workers here. Alright, there we go. More arriving. I love this as well. This bus is extremely helpful. There we go. Oh, the train's there. I was like, why is the steel being produced? The train's there. And then coal... Yeah, we're good. We're good up here. For the ore, at least. I wonder if we'll need a second... I wonder if we'll need a second coal mine. I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, you're coming up there to pave this thing. Good stuff. Yeah, this is all working out well. Ah, it's cool to see all this stuff come together. Now, I just want to mention really quickly on the topic of cool to see, if you guys think this series is cool to see and you'd like more episodes of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It does make a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. I say it countless times, and that's because it's true. It really does help me make decisions. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, just be a part of the, uh, the voice that decides what happens on the channel. I have been contemplating doing two episodes per... Uh, two episodes per week. Uh, I just have to figure out some timings for that. Uh, maybe do like Wednesday and Sunday. Um, <laughs> worker Wednesday and Soviet Sunday. Uh, but my, my point being, I just got to figure out the, uh, the timings and I might be able to do that just because there's a lot of stuff coming out in August that I want to cover on the channel as well. Uh, so I want to make sure that there's time for, for everything that needs doing, so to speak. All right. Making some serious progress over here. We can actually see actually see the framework of this structure so that's good almost there Just need a bunch of bricks a bunch of boards work days are being used up up comes the sun yes there we go look at that you can actually see the little uh construction progress happening quickly enough i mean granted we're at double speed but good to see good to see almost there more bricks, more boards. It'll arrive. It'll arrive soon enough. And then over here, how are we doing? 
road is almost done. Just need some electronic components. Electronic components, rather. Some steel. At least we saved the money on building it. Now, we should be auto-importing. Yeah, we're maintaining 20 tons up over here. Just a matter of shipping it down. And I believe closed hull vehicles ship electronic components. And we've got them. I, last time I had to buy some of those. I believe we've got them. Or a roller. What are you doing? As in, where are you? Coming on up. Wow, it gets stopped every time another vehicle overrides it. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's coming through. Alright, good, good, good. Final touches, and then the construction office will get worked on. Down over here, though. Ah, oh, yeah, this is looking good. We've got a roof. We've got a roof. Some more bricks and boards. And it's all coming, I think. Got a lot of boards coming through. 4.3 tons. Oh, there's the drop off. This is a very busy corridor. It is surprisingly one of the busiest parts of the, of the of the city. We've got, what, how many tons of bricks? You, you're not carrying any, so don't come here. <laughs> Damn it. It'll be done soon. Yeah, this is moving smoothly as well. Good stuff. Now, I could make this a two-way bypass. Because that train just, like, skated on by. It didn't even need to be here. Come these people. Yep. This is great. Food seems to be working at a decent rate as well. I mean, we are importing some. How, how much is that costing us? Crops imported 8k last month. 9k. Not that bad. Not that bad. I mean, I could be harvesting more of my own crops just to minimize that, but I guess it's not a priority. I guess it's not a priority. Keep, keep bringing the, the, the goods. What's the deal over here? You're bringing steel over. Okay. Then we'll need some more asphalt. And, uh... Well, first we'll need the electronic components. I'm guessing they're making the lampposts right now. I could just rush this. 437 is not that bad. Oh, we're so close to 1.2. We were so close. I actually don't know if we crossed it or not. Didn't catch it. Come on. Come on, get her done. Alright, we, we got everything we need. Yeah, uh, 67 rubles. I could just pay that. Come on. <laughs> I, 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 I'm unfortunately not patient enough. Alright, so now you should be building the construction office number two. Okay, good stuff. I hope I can rename it afterwards. And you are also making construction office number two, I believe. Yes. Fabric factory is almost done. 92% complete. Almost there, baby. Oh, and I can't wait to, to reap the benefits. I can't wait. Just look, this this month already, we've spent 20k. We can export it, too. If we have a surplus of fabric, where'd it go? Fabric. I wish this was an alphabetical order. There we go. Fabric is 451 per ton. It's not bad. So we'll see if we end up getting a surplus of that because then we can store it, if I'm not mistaken, over here. Close in fabric, yeah. And then the same train can pick it up. It's en route. I will have to buy another truck to transport the fabric from the uh, factory over. But, possible. Look at that. Less than 300 rubles to get this thing done. No. We will resist... Just need some steel and some mechanical components. Got it all. It's not a problem. Over here, work is being done as well. Yep, goods are being dropped off. Just need to get some workers. Um, hopefully that bus is able to pick people up. Picks people up from this bus platform, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This one over here. Ooh, another steel shipment. Is that going to put us over the 1.2? It would make me so happy if it does. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it should. The question then becomes, can we stay above the 
All right, economy recovering. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, okay, good. Construction workers have arrived. Maybe a little prematurely. I don't know. We're getting work done. Actually, yeah, phase one can be completed. Spending the work days now. That's good. And then we can finally clean this ramp up because, my God, it bothers me. Just like this, this bothers me too. Gotta get a train construction yard as well. And, oh, are we almost done? We just need the steel. We just need the steel. And it is en route. So excited. I'm so excited to finally have this done. This has been a bit of an undertaking. It's been quite an undertaking, actually. I wonder if we should change this bus, bus platform to a large bus platform. Just because the number of buses that are coming through has, uh, has increased exponentially. Might make for a more fluid process over here, because we're always getting some stoppage. Things could be going a bit smoother. Where is this? Come on. Oh, so much further to go. Taking days. <laughs> Not really days, but taking a long time. Imagine having to drive that truck, though, just for, what, 0. 0.3 tons of steel? Alright, here it is. I'll watch it get done. Boom. Done. And we're at 1.2. Ain't that a high note. Ain't that all the high notes. Alright, let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit, get back to normal speed. Uh, good auto save timing as well. So we need to import crops. We got to bring in chemicals and we have power. So that's good. Chemicals and crops. Crops we can import again. It does not cost that much. Uh, chemicals we can move. I don't want to buy chemicals. That would be wasteful. So we'll get all that organized. We'll get all that going. Uh, where are we? Chemicals up over here somewhere. Chemical factory. Yeah, there it is. Chemical plant rather. Uh, the thing is, we don't really store the chemicals, because we're exporting too many of them. Oh, well, you're loading up right now. That's what's happening. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another one of you. What is this? MZ504. Okay. Go ahead and purchase an MZ504. Um... Sewing. Oh, okay, sewing. Okay. I, I was thinking like like soak like sewing as opposed to sewing. Sorry, I misread that. Um okay, well, not an oil tank, right? MZ504. Wouldn't carry chemicals in one of these. Um da, 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 da. What? Would carry Kinda looks like an oil tank. Oh, there it is. It is. MZ503, MZ504. Is it what? Out of fashion now? I don't know. Wait, hold on. I want to carry. Moments like these where I question my very existence. Like. MZ-504. Yeah, you're the one carrying chemicals. Where are we? There. Oh, there we go. So you can carry three tons of chemical. I feel like that's probably the way to go. If I could carry more at a time. 3.6 over here, but it's quite a bit more expensive to purchase. Might be worth it, though. Just a matter of saving time. Carrying as many chemicals over at a time as possible. Here we can carry 3.6 for 9k. 3.6 for 10k. So let's go ahead and get a T148. That looks like a military vehicle. Worries me that this can carry chemicals. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and pick up the chemicals over here. We're going to drop it off over here. Again. Alright. That should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and for now... Okay, hold on a second. Pause it for a second. We're going to go ahead and make a manual purchase. Or well, we're going to auto-purchase some crops, right? We're going to keep... Uh, keep the crops flowing, all right? We're also going to manual purchase some chemicals. Not too many. Well, it's six tons. That's a one-timer, all right? 
That's so that all these workers are working and we can stop importing fabric. Um, here we are. And hopefully this works smoothly. The other thing we can do, well, let's go ahead and see how this works. And so far we have, holy crap. I wish I hadn't checked. It's because I bought all those chemicals and everything. That's why. But holy, wow. Last month we made over 100k. Yes. All right. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so we've got fabric being made over here. And then being moved over here. Hopefully it happens at a quick enough pace. Because that smoothness is also very important. Crops are being consumed quickly. I don't think that's going to cause us too much trouble. Oh. Who's on fire? You're on fire? You'll be fine. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. I was like, wait, do I have a fire fire station over here? We do. Okay, so that's okay. Um, this is, yeah, this is finally working, which is pretty cool. There we go. Nice little, nice little shot. Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that for a thumbnail. Yeah. Damn right. Completely, clothes will now be completely fabricated at home. Yes, that pun was entirely intentional. Very, very happy with that. Not, not the pun. I mean, the fact that we're actually, you know, fabricating clothes at uh, at, at home. And again, if the rate is right, then we could also export some fabric, which would be great. Is there a truck in here? There is. You're loading up. We're done loading up. It looks like we are importing fabric faster than we're producing clothes. So that's good. We're at about an equivalent rate, so that's good. And that's why we're not working at maximum capacity, so that's also good. Chemicals are very slowly being used, so that's good as well. Alright, seems to be seems to be seems to be smooth operating. Can you actually re yes you can. I'm very happy about this. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we just lose power? Just a bunch of dust cleared out or something? Visual glitch, I think. Okay. All right. Hold on. Is there a truck in here? Yeah, there is. I was like, why are clothes not being produced? It's because there's a truck in there. Fire destroyed a building. Whoa, whoa. What? I guess it makes sense. It was full of grain, but holy crap, how much food did we lose? And how did the... You guys... Oh my god, we lost the fire truck as well. We saw the fire truck going down. Yikes. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Well, by, by, by one of you. And let's go ahead and build... That, that's really a bit of a bummer, actually. Food and crop related. Let's go ahead and get that grain storage up. Uh, we'll have to cancel some of the road over here, I think. Yep, cancel you. Go ahead and build... Where to go? Food and crop related. Grain storage. Right about here. Uh, let's do something like that. Okay. Grain storage co costs us not too much, I don't think. Construction offices are too far for this area. And we need to get this thing up and running, I think, right away. How bad could it be? 30k. Not that bad. Not that bad. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. And you as well, please. Go ahead and get that factory connection auto-built as well. Kind of unfortunate. Draining our, uh, our, our profits right at the death over here. But it's okay. Not too grumpy about it. Up over here, how are we looking? Trains are moving, it seems. Yeah, that problem only came up once this session. Now, granted, we haven't been playing at 3-speed or 2-speed all the way through. What's the problem here? Nothing. It's just that these train. That, that's actually great. This was occupied, so this train had to stop. That makes sense. That's exactly what I need uh, happening. So that's fine. Over here, you've been built. Let's go ahead and auto purchase some crops. 
Good 68 tons. I believe that should be enough. Yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. It really was, but... I guess there were just not enough workers here at the time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Where are our trains? There they are. You're coming through with 158 workers. You're coming through kind of slow. This this chicane over here slows us down a lot. How are we doing over here? Oh, does that mean our train is about to arrive? Or is it on its way back? It's on its way back. Ah, that's too bad. This is still going at a good rate. Yeah, this is great. This is great. We actually will be able to export fabric as well. I'm very good about that. Not too much at a time, maybe like three tons shipped at a time. Well, we have to be careful. Because it's like one ton shipped out at a time, maybe, and we have to keep up with the supply and demand building factory. But this month, our imports include a little bit of fabric. Just a touch. As all the construction costs and stuff, which is unfortunate, but hey, that's that's life. And over here, we are making progress. Now we need steel and boards. And those will be arriving soon, I imagine. You're bringing no workers, you're bringing no boards, and you're going to be bringing, I'm guessing, no steel. Because ain't that extremely useful and helpful. Now the bricks have been going quite well. Uh, Alright, so this is almost done. This is done. This is seemingly working. This is where the problem is at this stage. This is where the problem is. Now I gotta sort that out. Again, probably between sessions, figure this out. Because this is working. No one got stuck over here today. That was good. Alright, and then this building over here, how are you doing? Why aren't you getting your prefrap pan? Oh, I guess... It's because party power needs to be assigned. That's why. The party power construction office needs to be assigned, I mean. If we, the moment we do that... There are actually vehicles that can carry stuff over. What I want to do is once this is done, I want to send all the vehicles over here, over to here. I want to demolish this. I want to repair the ramp and the road so it doesn't look so messy and hideous. That'll be, just, you know, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I want to repair this as well. Uh, I want to keep exporting. Oh my god, yes, this is great. Chemicals. Actually, I want to see chemical transportation. This is happening smoothly enough, I think. You've got another truck in here. Can we actually... Oh, yes. This is excellent. So we have two slots for trucks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Feels good. And then how is our steel train doing? Still doing fantastically. This is good. All right. Um, I think... Hold on. Yeah, we're fine. It's a little funny with some of the, the lights, some of the switches... Like, did you have to be stuck there for when a train... I, well, maybe it was actually going up this way, but even then, if you're going to turn here, should have been able to do that. No problem. 75 workers down here. All right. This is great. I wonder how we can make this battery, so to speak, more uh, efficient. Those chemicals actually don't get used up that quickly. I didn't have to spend that much on chemicals, it seems. But it's okay. It's okay. Steel's arriving over here, so this will be done soon as well. And I'm wondering if I want to wait until this gets done. Waiting on boards still. Almost here. Oh yeah, it's almost there. Just gotta make a little bit of a round. Gonna arrive over here. Almost done, almost done. This is all going smoothly enough. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think that we're in a pretty comfortable spot right now in terms of our existing production lines. Our, let's see, our grain storage, that was a bit of an unfortunate situation, but it seems to have all worked out okay. Livestock is being produced at a decent rate because workers are actually coming here, currently being loaded onto this train, which is going to take with it... Hold on a second. 
Oh, god damn it. Ah. Uh. That's frustrating, folks. That is frustrating. That's gonna be a big waste of money. And that's gonna leave without any grain. And here I was, feeling good. Little did I know that I shouldn't have. Felt good, that is. Alright, let's fix that. Go ahead and get grain storage, like so. That should be good enough on both sides, I hope. Well, don't auto build. I don't know, actually. I have this laid out before. Let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Auto build you. This is unfortunate. That That's a huge waste of money. That is 60k we sp spent on this repair. But it feels good that we have that money to spend, I suppose. As that money gets tossed down the drain, set on fire with that fire that set down this building to begin with. Let's go ahead and call it a session, folks. I do believe this was a pretty good one overall. I think we're going to end up at just 1.1. We hit 1.2, I think, once. Uh, we got close to it, at least. It means that our economy is recovering. It's a strong economy once again. This construction site will get done. Next session, we tackle our coal problem and reduce the imports of coal because that is costing us a fair bit as well. Yeah, look at that. Almost 40k. The month isn't even halfway done. So we're going to do that, solve that problem, and then comes the time for oil. Until then, folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know you would like to see more Workers and Resources Soviet Republic on this channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya.